video we are going to go over how to make a prediction interval in SAS. Now I'm going to use this pulse rate data set they have here of pulse rates and white blood cell counts. But uh, if we are use if we are trying to find a the prediction interval for a point that's not inside of the actual data set, we would need to include a new data set with just for example the x variable inside of it equal to whatever number in order for us to include that inside of our new data set now and then add it to the data set by making a new data set with the old data set and the value that we are trying to use for the prediction and then we are going to use proc reg the data is equal to the edited data set now and then we'll use model whatever the y variable is is equal to the x variable and if it's a multiple regression one you would list out all x variables we have a slash and then cli and then run so for example using this data set and i have this pre written here using that pulse data set we want to find a 95 percent prediction interval though with a pulse rate of 80 all right. So since we want this for a pulse rate of 80, we are going to use data. I'm just going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it A. Doesn't really matter what you particularly call it, but A. And then the x variable here was pulse rate. So pulse rate is equal to 80. And we want this to be outputted as well. And then we're going to use data. We're going to call it the this edited data set a different name. I'm going. To, I'm just going to call it pulse rate to match what we're doing and we're going to set um, the previous data set this pulse data set I'll call that worked out pulse and this new data set up here a so worked out pulse space a all right and then we're going to do proc reg data is equal to this edited data set pulse rate we're going to do a model of white blood cell counts is equal to pulse rate slash cli for that confidence interval for the um, prediction and then run. When we do run this, we get the normal stuff from the regression analysis, which is all fine and dandy and sad here. But the thing that we want to look at currently is this table here, which is new for this, based upon the prediction. Alright, so we have all the other points in here, but we have the sixth one down here now. This is the one that we put the 80 in for. We obtain our 95% confidence interval produ prediction down here in order for us to determine what that is. And it also gives us a predicted value as well for the prediction. So it gives us both the prediction and the prediction interval here to go by. Although, do note how this prediction interval down here is incredibly large, 0.77 to 14.9. That's more so due to the fact that this is nowhere near a normal distribution. If we had something that was normal and had more data, this would be a much better prediction than this one currently is. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.